So we made it to day five of our seven days to die challenge. And we've got our first horde night incoming tonight. So today we're going to be sticking down some base defenses and we're going to be doing some building. We managed to get this crossbow yesterday, so I need to get some crossbow bolts made up in the forge. So we need to do iron arrowheads. So I'm going to get a bunch of them crafting up. Now, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been keeping up with the content this week. I know it's always strange when a channel puts on a new game and I, um, I appreciate you guys keeping up with me. I've always done my Let's Plays as an unscripted thing and therefore it's hard to remain articulate and on topic. So I do find when you're playing a new game it can be difficult because I'm trying to think about doing other things things at the same time as just playing the game but I appreciate everybody who's been sticking with me on this one and uh, it's been kind of fun to do some daily content just get this chicken now of course most of my subscribers know that I'm doing Ark Survival Evolved at the moment and if you follow me you'll probably know that I'm on Aberration and I'm just at that part of the game where I'm just having to grind guys and I am still playing it in the background don't worry I will complete it whether we win or not is another thing, but we will get to Rockwell. Anyway, seven days to die in our Horde Knight. Let's start thinking about that instead of Rockwell. We need to get some base defenses down. And I just want to put a box around the outside of this other box. Now, as you can see, it's going to be actually really hard to put this on the end because we've got concrete that kind of sticks out, which makes it difficult to place these cubes down. So I'm probably going to go out in the corners with these cubes so just there but I probably need that as a cube now I've also got that steel roof just here so I'm not going to be able to go straight to the top but I don't think anything's going to be able to fall down the gap that we're going to create there so, I don't know how many we can go out by, perhaps, like, three? Yeah, I think going out three is probably going to be enough. And I'm probably going to have to swap these cube boxes around for actual cubes. Um, we just want to come out three this way going to be doing a lot of gathering for wood. I know I'm a little bit short on that. Fortunately, I have managed to get a little bit of cobblestone, so I'm not too worried about this first horde night, if I'm honest with you. Right, okay, I want to get a door in there, so we'll just leave a gap. And these are just the frames that I got from the working stiff tools. Almost enough frames for us to just lay something out. Okay, so I'm probably going to use bars to shoot out from, and the idea is just sort of standing behind here. See, these iron arrowheads are done. Okay, there's a hundred of them tips, and probably want to get some glass jars done. We need to get some murky water to make some glue so we can make some duct tape so we can make some repair kits uh, also need to take care of that door there as well so let's just get these arrows crafted up um, and we do need to eat something some of our boiled meat and I'm going to take that coffee with us as well because I'm going to go out and chop some trees down so we'll have a bit of extra stamina while we're doing that. And let's craft up some arrows. Just need the wood and how many can we do? 111, there we go. Good stuff. So, got plenty of ammunition, and let's say the first hard night should be pretty easy for us. 
Now we just need to go and grab some wood. Okay. Now let's just switch this over to bars. I think it's bars or is it railings? Bars. There we go. Okay. And we're going to switch all of these middle ones round. That way I've got something to shoot out of. The corner one for this bit. Like so. And I think I need to switch all of these round to these cubes. Can't seem to get a hatch up there. Now my fault was I wanted to have a hatch so I could shoot down as well or get out the way if we needed to if they broke through but I don't think I can get the hatch to work. Just need to go and grab some more whoop just need to go and grab some more wood. I think we might have to forego oh wolf I have that. Now I've actually got a decent well, a half decent crossbow. Get a sneak shot on it. There you go. Should kill it in one. Ah, oh, so much better than the bow. There we go. Just swap these ones around as well. For cubes. And there we go. The corner piece over there. Now, I figure that they're just going to go for the door on the first night. Oh, hang on, that's the middle one. We could do these bars so we put two sets of bars for them to break through, but I'm just going to upgrade them to cobble. We should have enough to do that. I think we'll just shoot through these railings. Okay, let's upgrade this. upgrade it again to cobblestone. This way I'm benefiting from the XP as well and I don't think we're losing out on any resources. We could have just put down the wooden structures first but I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. Now unfortunately I can't put a hatchway up there because of the lip up the top and we've only kind of come out three so just going to box ourselves in. If they break through then yeah then we're in trouble but for tonight it'll be It'll be fine. In fact, like I say, I think I've got enough cobblestone to actually reinforce this. So I've done Horde Night 1 before with just wood. I think we'll be able to make this a little bit more sturdy. And again, let's just upgrade it. Now if we do get birds attack, we can actually shoot up. They won't be able to get through that gap there. And for the time being, I'm not going to take that door down. I'm just going to upgrade that like that. And I don't think they're going to attack us through that direction. They should come to this main door here, hopefully. Okay, let's get some more cobble. We've managed to upgrade it all to cobblestone. I know it's strange that we've actually got cobblestone railings as well, but they're just as strong. I'll just use this last bit up the top here. And we haven't got anything to shoot upwards from. Now this door, I can't upgrade it, so I think I need to take it out. We're gonna have to replace it with a steel door. And 
did get some glass jars crafting there, so I'll have to grab them. We might need to go near some water, so I might just have them on me in case we go out there. So I'm just going to put an iron door in there and then it wouldn't upgrade anymore. So put that in and then we'll upgrade it as well. Now, I'm pretty sure that the zombies are just going to try and get us at this door here and we're just going to be able to shoot out from here. And I guess if we get any of the vultures come in, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to shoot up or away from them, but I'm going to have to get, I suppose, a few of the spike traps down as well. Probably got enough to make a few iron spike traps. Now, unfortunately, I can't fit them in down here. Figured they might come round that way, but for the most part, if I just shove just a few outside here because I'm pretty sure that that's where they're going to be gathering and banging at and I'm going to leave that there because they'll probably get spiked trying to walk through that gap just reinforce this a little bit and I think that'll, that'll do I'll put one here I don't think they're going to bang on that door to try and get in because even if they do, they'll still have cobblestone to get through. And I think I'll leave that blank because if we find ourselves outside, then we can always just jump up that ladder. Thunder's coming. They'll be here soon. Just, oh. Sounds like somebody's here already. Yeah. It's a little bit early for Horde Night. Oh, come on, that was a hit. I went right through her. Ouch. Okay. Oh no, just got a concussion. Right, let's just get behind this door. I don't know where these guys have come from. Brief opportunity to see where they're going to path to. And there you see they're pretty much going straight for this door. And they're getting caught on the sticks, so... I'm pretty sure this is going to be okay for tonight. This must just have been a wandering mini horde somewhere. about it. Oops, sounds like there's a couple more. Start getting the weapons on my hot bar here. This hatch I do want to put down in front of this door so we'll still be able to open this door and actually use a melee weapon if we want. We can just put this up, open the door and be able to swing at them. Biker. Bikers tend to be a lot tougher. So it's like a little mini hall before the main one. I don't even think I've got my forge on, so they must have just been wandering. a hit. Come on. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to be alright tonight with this. Um, to be extra safe though, I might do just a couple of iron spike traps. Probably a little bit soon to, especially with our first horde night, putting iron spike traps down, but 
Once we dismantled everything that was around us, we did get quite a bit of iron from all of this stuff that we dismantled, so can strategically place a couple of them. Um, okay, let's just grab some food and I need to take care of this concussion, so I'm going to have these painkillers, unfortunately. I'll clear that up and I think I'm just going to hold on to this stuff for now. Got some repair kits. It's just a case of playing the waiting game. Now I would dismantle some of this stuff around here, but I'm wondering if they'll actually get bored and start banging on it and trying to dismantle it themselves. Guess we'll see. Okay, we need to get a few iron spike traps made up. And I don't need that. We do need to take our painkillers because otherwise we'll be a couple of hours with a concussion. So I'll use up the only painkillers that we have. So I think I'll place one near this gate just in case they come in through that gate like we've seen before kind of coming through here and path towards us so I'll just put a few iron ones see this is a popular spot right there as well okay and Check out the reload time on this. I, I have put it on my hot bar, but it takes so long to load the thing that I don't think I'll get more than one shot off if I use it. Okay, one more set of spikes, I guess. Just put them there. They're coming from that direction. Yeah, I'm fairly confident we've got this. Here we go. I'm just going to repair that pistol. So we've got plenty of rounds for that, but for the most part, I'm going to try and stick with my crossbow. If things start getting a bit hairy, then we can switch over to our pipe rifle. Okay, where are they coming in from? Oh, okay, so they're coming from this direction. Straight into all of the spikes. Ah, so good. The first horde night's never usually too bad. Oh. Yes. Okay. It's starting to jump up there. Just switch over because I don't want them getting on the roof and jumping on each other. This pipe gun's not too bad. Some of the pipe guns are pretty good. I don't like the shotgun though. Pistol's always good. So far, it's pretty tame. Again, this is a day five horde as well, so I haven't really leveled up too high just yet so didn't think it would be oh have a miss I didn't think they would fire too many of us I guess so far it's been pretty manageable looks like somebody's just dropped some loot for us there again them iron spikes I knew they would come in via that way okay yeah so far no problem at all Coming through the fence here. It's good. Straight over the spikes. Straight into another set of spikes. Yeah. 
definitely dealing with your first horde knight. Spikes can definitely help out. Looks like they're all walking through them iron ones as soon as they come through that gate. It's almost like they don't even recognize that they're there. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'll help her out. Got ourselves a level and I did want to up our archery and gunslinger. But to do that, I think we need to drop another couple of points into agility. So um, one point's not going to do it. I think we have to get up to level three. So we'll do that. We'll put one more point in agility and next time we'll unlock archery and gunslinger level two. Okay, got on seven days. Is this all you've got for us? I actually thought there would be a lot more than this, but what are you doing? <laughs> Looks like there's a couple coming off the road and got into the back there. You can only get them when they get high enough. Oh, no, she's made it through. I think it was definitely worthwhile placing that iron trap just in front of that gate. They've all fell for it. Apart from these idiots who went into the wrong back garden. Okay. I think get that loot. We only had the one loot drop so far. Okay, let's see what loot we've got. I only heard the one loot crate drop. So that was a pretty tame horde, if that's all it's got to throw at us. That being said, we are quite a low level at the moment, so I didn't expect things to be too heavy. Just use this vitamin in case it's got anything else to throw at us. I think we safely made it. So, yeah, not too challenging for our first horde night. In fact, I think we could have made it with just wooden defences. Probably went a little bit overboard with the cobble here. But everything's gone so far, so good. I think I'm just going to hang on and dismantle some of this stuff we've got inside here. I can melt down some of these electronics and pipes and things that we've got in the back. Let's just get rid of this stuff. And these electronics as well. Can I hear anything else? I think we're... All pretty safe. Uh, some pipes here. That took a while to get through. Okay, let's dismantle this. I don't tell you how many times I've died to my own spikes before, so <laughs> that would be a, a great way to end uh, the series. Die to my own spikes. So we managed to make it through our first Horde night, no problem at all really, and I'm sure moving forward things will get progressively more difficult. Of course the Horde that gets thrown at us is only equivalent to the level that we are at the time, and I think that went fairly well, but no problems at all with our first Horde night. It looks like maybe a few of the Horde spawned behind that church there, I can see some zombies just jumping behind that wall so we'll have to check that one out next time but that will have to wait until next week do let me know if you've enjoyed the content this week down in the comments below but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you